Jam tart pudding for which we need 100 grams of refined flour, 60 grams of butter or fat, 30 grams of powdered sugar, a pinch of salt, one and a half tablespoon of cold water, 50 grams of jam melted with little water. You are going to mix to refined flour, you are going to add 30 grams of powdered sugar. A pinch of salt, mix it well, all the dry ingredients, refined flour, powdered sugar and salt. Then you are going to add soft butter, you are going to break it into small pieces and add it to your flour mixture. Break into small pieces. Now mix it gently using your fingertips. Use your fingertips, not your palm. Use your fingertips. Gently rub in all the ingredients. When you're rubbing, the fat particles, what you added, will be broken into smaller pieces. So you're going to continue rubbing. Keep in mind, don't over rub, don't put too much pressure. The fat will melt otherwise. Use your fingertips to gently rub it. While rubbing, focus on the bigger particles of fat. Pick them and rub it gently so that that will be broken into smaller pieces. To rub it gently. You want to break all the fat into smaller particles. You want to get a texture called sandy texture till it resemble like sand, dry sand or till it resembles breadcrumbs. So this texture is known as sandy texture. Are you ready? Got sandy texture now. Once you get sandy texture, add cold water, prefer to use ice cold water, otherwise warm water will melt your fat, add one and a half tablespoon, now don't mix it with your hand, use, it, use your spoon or spatula, gently mix it, you will get your mixture roughly mixed. Hold them tight to form a
Don't over mix it. Just bind all the ingredients to the farm. The dough, once the dough is ready, you're going to refrigerate this dough for 10 to 15 minutes in the refrigerator. And then we're going to use it for making your jam tart. Ready? Have your tart tray ready, which is greased. Or we can use also small tart mold like this. Our shortbread pastry is ready. After resting, take it on a flat surface. Want to roll it out with a thin sheet, a little flour on the top also. And roll it into a thin sheet of 1 by 8 inch thickness. Make sure you have enough flour so it doesn't stick to the table. Maintain uniform thickness once you get the desired thickness. Cut with the, any design cutter into individual portions. and layer on a tart tray which is greased Gently press press the center. Layering your tart mold, you're going to fill it with jam, which is melted with little water. Don't overfill it, just half fill your tart shells. Trimmings, the trimmings can be molded again. We'll use it for garnish, we'll use for a little decoration on top. Roll it out into thin sheets, the same thickness. And uh, Cut it out into thin strips. Water on the side of your dark. Take your twists. Just a little, give a call there, do a little decoration like that. One more, strip, press cross, and more. Let us arrange, arrange it now, tray, bake it in a preheat oven. At 160 degrees C for 15 to 20 minutes. Got slight golden color after 10, 15, 15 to 20 minutes. 
of baking at 160 degrees C, you get golden mm -hmm. color. Take it out of the oven and uh, you can cool it and serve it. You can just fry it like this. Serve it for high tea. Oh, there you go. Your dog, jam dog.